friends, now we're in the park Zaryadia. Now this is, can be said, the most important park of Russia because it's located exactly next to Red Square. Firstly, when I came there, it was founded three years ago, and firstly when I came there, I was like, oh really, that's it? <laughs> but now, yeah, it's really nice. There are a few museums in this park that you can find the history of Russia, about the past. Also, there are some master classes that children can visit, and not just children. Yeah, nice place and a lot of locals are like spending time here. The main structure of the park is a suspension of bridge on which everyone can walk and take a look at amazing views of Moscow. You even can't imagine how many people were here when the park first opened. To say that the line to walk across the bridge was huge, it's to say nothing. Personally, I prefer the lake located under the bridge. Well, look how cozy it is. It's worth noting that the Time magazine includes a radio park, the only object from Russia, in the list of the best places in the world in 2018. The park was created on the site of the demolished in 2006 Hotel Rossiya, which was one of the most famous places in Moscow. That's why many Moscovites were kind of disappointed in the beginning, but honestly, I like park much more because the hotel wasn't beautiful like for me at all. And today, a lot of people are coming to Zaryadia for a walk, you know, to sit in the shade, read a book, listen to music, or for example, take some pictures, like, you know, just to spend time. The interesting fact about Zaryadia is that architectures were made this park following the example of Singapore, the main park there. And I wouldn't say it's so similar, but still beautiful. By the way guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, it's my first 1000 and oh my gosh, I can't believe it, really, I'm so thankful for you, I promise there's gonna be a lot of videos soon about Russia, Moscow and all around the world, you wouldn't regret this, so let's travel together. <laughs> this is my girl, <laughs> Kate, <laughs> she will be in my video. Oh, Where are we now? Uh, we go to the bar. To the bar? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that we were going to the bar. <laughs> it was just a surprise for me now. We are in Kitai Gorod. If I translate this into English, it's called Chinatown. It's really a uh, cool place in Moscow because there are a lot of cool spots. Like for example, this restaurant. Yeah, Kate is saying to me that this is really um, place for young people a lot of, a lot of people like in my age approximately I sit in there a lot of bars like a lot of photo stops <laughs> so when you be in Moscow you should come here and she's showing me yeah <laughs> There are so many cafes, so many bars, all street long. It's so nice here in summer, just so nice. And we're going now to one place that I already showed you. It's about Georgian food. We're going to have a glass of wine there because the wine is so good and not expensive at all. Like one glass, two euro, but it's almost nothing. And then we're going to walk. How do you like this district? Oh, someone says like that. Uh, it's a very nice place and we um, go yeah. there. Go there? Yes, so everything is correct. Practice. <laughs> uh, very often. <laughs> and um, Dutch. Far away. <laughs> we can see a mm -hmm. very good place of when uh, coal. You know that cold? We're not much for yeah. That's exactly where we are going now. Have yeah, a glass of yeah. wine. <laughs> yeah, um, cheap wine. Yeah, as I already told them that the wine is really cheap. And later we are going to one place that just opened a few months ago. <laughs> Very popular uh, place in Moscow. Yeah. And new. Yeah, 
we will show you so keep watching it <laughs> Katya also said that in this area almost everyone has a film camera <laughs> of course it's a joke but a lot of people have it and most people here in this district are so fashionable now we're in Khachipur, you know, amazing place but be sure to book in advance the table because we had to wait and it's just Tuesday midday and an hour later the line became three times bigger how is the line? Uh, it's uh, very tasty, it's good I said how is the line? <laughs> so big <laughs> <laughs> Katya, how do you like summer in Moscow? Um, summer in Moscow, it is lovely, really lovely. <laughs> uh, I like it. Uh, but uh, sometimes weather is cold and uh, yeah. uh, rain. Rainy, it's rainy, yeah, yeah. sometimes. Uh, but it's not a problem for us. <laughs> uh, our summer, my summer, I don't know. Yeah, how like, I usually same for me. But my, it's work and rain and <laughs> special vibe. Um, yeah, for me it's like approximately the same. Also, I like to visit something interesting. And soon I'm going next week to uh, to the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the question: What would you advise to tourists to visit some uh, to visit Moscow in summer or winter? Uh, I think uh, summer because winter is so cold. But not all the time. It, and La time. when Emma came there is a video when my Greek friend came to me it wasn't so cold there is almost no um, snow mm -hmm. on the street so it was like zero degree uh, okay uh, you can um, uh, fly to Moscow fly to Moscow winter but um, just for a week for New Year yeah, she sent us, you can fly to Moscow for one week to New Year because everything there are a lot of decoration, especially you no know, Christmas vibe, but you prefer summer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, like, I really like uh, also, <laughs> I also but. like really Christmas vibe, yeah, because it's my favorite time of the year. And last year it wasn't cold at all, almost fall, especially like during New Year but in summer it's so atmospheric really so i don't know i would advise you to visit in summer and in winter <laughs> Take a look how it looks like, so atmospheric. This is the style. <laughs> And the place, oh yeah. <laughs> the place that we wanted to visit is closed. I think this is because of coronavirus. Also, update that now it's became so strict that we can't go to underground without a mask, and the fine is 100. I mean, it's like for Russian money, it's a lot because the salaries are so little, and like all Russians, like what? And you understand that this is not, <laughs> and you understand that this is not because of the virus itself but because the government wants money and it's a lot they already got like five, 50 million rubles what it's like one around one million dollars and it's so sad so i think this it's sort of really modern bar and now it's closed
now there is a festival of flowers near Red Square. It looks just awesome, but there are so many people. Anyway, so beautiful. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.